well, that would be lovely. So if you have those toys, yes. If not, fine. And I want you to start with your ball between your inner thighs. Give it a firm squeeze. And as you bring your feet together, they're in a parallel position, not externally rotated. So just kind of noticing that for a second. Yay. And then the arms swing up on the inhale, and then exhale, they melt down like raindrops. Inhale, arms swing up. Exhale, raindrops. Inhale, up. Exhale, this time bend your elbows and be very aware here of your back. Feel the muscles in your back. Imagine all those beautiful muscles in your back, like you have know, a beautiful muscly back. You're wearing a strapless black gown. Or for men, you're shirtless on the, on the beach. <laughs> and then just really easily from here, we're gonna bring those hands to cover the face and then squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale together, sorry, exhale and squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, covering your face. Exhale, opening. Good, once more, inhale and exhale. Good, staying in this position, press the arms wide. Good, and drop the hands so they're parallel to the floor. Get your neck longer. Draw the ribs together and really squeeze your ball, pressing down, 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 and down, 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 and down, 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 down. Flip it up and up, 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 and up, 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 and pause. Good. Small little scooping circles like you've got snow in your hands. You're making snowballs and you're scooping, scooping the snow. Scoop. Scoop. The scoop comes from your armpit area and you feel it on the inner line of your arms. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Use your shoulder blades to create this. Good. And you could do scooping all day. You've got a bunch of eight year olds you're playing snowball fight with and they want you to keep making those snowballs. You're like a snowball machine. Good. So it's 20, 19, 18, 17. Snowballs keep going. Snowballs, snowballs. Yay, yay. Yay, yay, and reverse. Good, now I'm just flopping my hands. It's kind of a little bit of a release. And then I get a little bit more into it. It's more of a scoop, scoop, yes, scoop, scoop, good. Keep going, little reverse scoops. Noticing here how the shoulders feel. They should feel great. They should feel like you're getting sort of a massage around that whole shoulder joint. Good, and then pause. Palms turn forward, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Stretch the arms up and then reach up, 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 up. Get as tall as you can. Get as lean as you possibly can. Good, and just breathe for a moment. Ah. Can you feel when you're reaching the arms up that you're lifting your diaphragm a little bit? Maybe you can get more oxygen in as you keep your arms lifted and you breathe in and out through the nose. Perfect. Good. Softly, like soft rain, the arms come out and they naturally come all the way down. Great. Keeping the idea of working through the whole body, we're going to release the small ball and grab our therabands. Hopefully you have one. I want you to stand on your band. Have that same idea here of connection through your inner thighs. So for me, my feet are in a V shape and I'm connecting through my heels. I'm in my Pilates stance, good. And I've got my hands holding on to the ends of my band and I'm gonna make it even. And I'm gonna turn my palms face out and I'm gonna turn my palms back. I'm gonna turn the palms facing out and I'm gonna turn the palms facing back. I'm just noticing how that affects the shoulders. I keep the palms slightly forward, my shoulders are externally, they're open, and then I bring it all the way up and I just hold here for a minute. I wanna feel the weight, the pressure, the resistance. 
I want to use this TheraBand hold so that I'm taller and I'm leaner and I'm more connected. My inner thighs are working. And then gently I come down. So here we go. We're going to just do 10. Do a couple sets of 10, but here we go. For nine more. Good. And the quality of the movement is what I'm after. Eight. And I love the TheraBand for these. It's very different than when we use the weights in a minute. Good job. And pull. Slowly release. And pull up. Slowly release. Keep going. Pull. Release. And pull it up. Release it down. Pull it up. Release it down. Pull it up. Release down. Pull it up. Release it down, pull it up, and stay. Singles, one down and one up. One down and one up. Cha-cha, cha-cha. Good, now for me, I think these singles are a little bit more challenging than the doubles. And because I have to stabilize on one side as I pull the other one up. So this is, these are good. They're good for me. If they're good for me, they're good for you. Yes, okay, good job. Both come up and it's down and up. Oh man, I don't know. I think it was a little aggressive the way I curled my TheraBand because these are challenging. I'm going to see if I can do seven more. Seven and six and five. Good. Now, the funny thing is, I was feeling my whole body uh, and especially my upper back because we started with. The, um, the, the, the just the arms. However, now I'm feeling my biceps. You feeling that too? Good, one more here, double. Ah, good, and last set singles. One up and one down. 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three. And two, ah, last one. Ah, woo. Okay, that was a lot of biceps for me. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kind of shake out my hands. Sometimes I do that when I'm gripping on my bike and I'm coming downhill and I can shake out my hands. Do you ever have that on your bicycle as well? Okay, and then the ball goes back between the inner thighs because we had it. Feet are again in parallel. And then this here is posture work. We're working upper back and arms and lats. So I've got a little bit of laxity here. It's not taut. I'm going to press slightly down and then open wide. Good. And then just bring that back. Good. And I'm going to do that again. Opening wide across the chest, bringing it back. Good. I'm just going to do a couple of these today. Wide. And back and wide and bring it back. Good job taking it wide and back and one more time wide. I'm holding the width and I'm going to lift up so I'm on my high tippy toes and I'm going to drop my heels down. I'm going to do that two more times. So I lift up high tippy toes and drop down. One more time. Lift up. Drop it down. Arms come down. Last little part here with the TheraBand before we move on. The uh, arms here are holding, hands, sorry, are holding TheraBand. Elbows at the sides. Gonna squeeze my ball a lot. And I wanna feel my glutes. Can you make sure your glutes are firing? Good. Then pull out and out. And out. Good. Now the e, the trick of this is can I do it and use the little muscles in my shoulders? It's a small little movement. And if that's going really well, I'm going to add a tiny bit of a squat. So I'm going to squat and up. It's a tiny little one. I'm sitting in a stool and I'm standing up. Sitting in a stool, standing up. Good. Little stool and up. I stick my butt back and stand up. That's it. Down and up, and down, and up. And I'm doing my best to keep really good form here with the upper body, strengthening all the little rotator cuff muscles. Yes, there's four of them, and we need to keep them strong. 
equally strong, right? Yeah, so this is a great one. And four more, three more, two more, and last one. Perfect, stand all the way up tall. For our very last little part today, we are going to, let me put these down for a moment. We're going to grab some hand weights or not, and we're gonna do just a little bit of a set here to kind of get going for our abdominals. So my feet here are gonna be in a wide stance. I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit so I have a lot of stability here, and then it's reach across, reach across. It's a twist, that's what I want. I want that twist and twist, good. Now, as you're doing that, you can do it slow, or you can do it a little bit faster with me, good. Keep going. Good, for me, this one gets my energy going, gets me ready for anything, I really like it. I'm using my back more than my arms. I'm using my obliques more than anything. I feel like the effort is coming from my ribs and shoulder blades. Keep going, keep going, keep going, good. And punch, 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 punch. Good, notice that this makes you feel a little bit energized. Does it take your energy? It gives you energy. How can that be? Good, 20 more, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more, nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Let your hands come to your sides. Breath in, we're gonna do one full roll down. Use the weights if you have them to slowly nod your head and then drag your weights down, resisting. Coming all the way down to as far as you like. Ah. When you get down there, take a breath or two. And then push with your feet, fire your bones, and roll up, roll up. And then when you get all the way up, do a couple small shoulder rolls. Ah. Good, hang out here for just a moment. We're gonna transition to the mat. But just kind of notice how you feel. Do you feel alive, calm, and energized? I do, <laughs> hopefully you do too. Okay, I'm putting my stuff to the side. I'm going to switch the orientation computer. We're gonna come down to the mat. And I have to tell you, it's abdominals. Abdominals, abdominals today. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. We grab our small balls and we place the small ball behind the back. And let's put the TheraBand handy but not use it for this first set. My hands are gonna come back behind my head. And we're going to use the ball today to open up the rib cage. And yes, this is the easiest set of abdominals. Everyone can do it, and it's super supportive of the neck. We will get a little uh, more intense in a moment, but just bear with me. I know sometimes people are like, let's move into the hardcore stuff. Let's enjoy where we are. So we're going to come into back bend. And then we exhale and lengthen the spine and we lift up. If you think about this first set being for your spine, it's gonna give you a different perspective on life. As we exhale and inhale. Good, exhaling up, inhaling back. Good, keep going, lifting up, 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 up. Good, and lowering down, and lift up, and lower down. Good, and lifting up, and lowering down. Good, this time you're gonna 
lift up and stay lifted. And I want you to turn to one side and look. Stay lifted, coming to center, look at your knees, and then turn to the other side and look. And then come back to center. Good, lower all the way down. Let's do that again. We lift up with that full lengthening effect. And then we twist, come to center, twist, come to center. You might notice that I'm keeping my elbows in the same place. I'm not letting my elbows curve in. I, I go to the side, but my elbows aren't curling in. And it makes it a little harder. <laughs> and twist, and center, and down. Again, lift, and twist, and center and twist, and center, and down. Once more, lift, and twist, and center, and twist, and center, and down. Now we're gonna lift up, we're gonna stay lifted, and we're lifted up high, we're not resting on the ball. Take a second and rest on the ball. Oh wow, that's comfortable, I could use this ball while I'm binge watching The Queen's Gambit. Yes, so comfortable. But this is not a binge watch. This is not comfort. This is actually activation. Oh yeah, we're in Pilates class. So you gotta pull off the ball a little tiny bit, and there's a different place. It's not a place of comfort. There's a place of activation. Excellent. And we're gonna lift one leg up, lower down. You're not resting on the ball. You're feeling a burning sensation, like a beautiful candle that you've lit for your ancestors, and you pull in and down. Good job. Yeah, and I think in life we want to be in that place of activation, the place of not comfort. So if you find yourself complacent in your life, maybe it's time to mix it up just a teeny tiny bit and get a little bit more activated. I'm talking to myself, of course, but hey, maybe that's for you too. Good. I'm feeling like I told you the other day that I've got some kind of transition in me. I know I have some more books in me. I've written, written several books, but I, I need to write another book. I'm thinking about an environmental uh, fiction book. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Good. Now I'm going to add on. I bring one leg in. I lengthen out, and I pull it in. Keep on the same leg. Eight, bring the speed up, good. But keep lengthening, that's it. 10, oh sorry, we did 10. Seven, and six, and five, and four. Keep going with me, three, and two. Last one, set your foot down, other leg comes in. Make that connection. Good, shoot, long, pull it in for nine more, in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come behind the thighs, rock your body all the way up. Take a nice deep breath. Good, I love those. I don't know about you. Maybe you're like, those are so easy. I think they're wonderful. They make me feel good. Okay, we're gonna use the ball still. So this time we're gonna have the ball underneath the sacrum. I'm gonna hold the ball straight out. I'm gonna activate my inner and outer legs just by thinking about it. And then lightly squeeze the ball as I roll down. I lightly squeeze the roll as I go down. Good, and Chris, I hope you picked up your ball. I see you picked up your ball, and I hope you're using it today. Really enhances everything to have a small Pilates ball. Ah, okay, so taking a couple breaths. Ah, nice. Now, ball is gonna go under the sacrum. Yes, I love these. The ball is under the sacrum. I feel very cushy, I have a nice cushy ball. Remember, the cushier the ball, the easier it is, and the more the ball's inflated, the more challenging it is, because it's more challenging to balance on it. So today I have like a, a squishy ball, it feels great. My knees are right over my hips. I'm trying to find that like perfection in alignment. 
like a dancer, and I'm pulling my rib cage back together and then back. Ah, good. I'm gonna let my arms come up. And I just want to take a moment here to let everything activate on its own. So in this position, I'm balancing on the ball. All of my small little muscle, all of my deep core muscles are firing. I have like a fire in my belly. Good. If I had some chestnuts, I could roast them right here on my belly. <laughs> oh, good. I think I had too much caffeine this morning. I love having too much caffeine. <laughs> Okay, so a couple breaths here. And then just very smoothly, could you lengthen one leg and then the other leg? And you're really stretching your leg. You're really reaching it out. Think about like a fly fisher woman. Out and in. Reaching one out and one in. Good. And then can you feel like your arms floating? Can you feel your arms opening? and closing, but in a very non-mechanical way. Like your arms are tree limbs, making the arms soft and the legs hard. Good, now I'm gonna keep my arms up today as I take the pace a little bit faster because I want a little bit of extra challenge for me. Options for those arms, just kind of checking it out. Always bringing the arms halfway or all the way down whenever you need it. Yes, keep those legs moving in sync. Ta-ta, ta-ta, yeah, I said I'm keeping my arms up. Ta-ta, ta-ta, it's way more comfortable keeping them down. Gotta get out of the comfort zone, into the activation zone in all aspects of my life. Yes, I can. Okay, we keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, ta-ta, ta-ta. Now I'm gonna keep the same rhythm, and just keep the same movement, but I'm gonna flex my feet. When I flex my feet, I feel my heel, heel, heel going. One pulling in, one pulling out. It's ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta. Good, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. My legs come in, my arms come down. My legs are gonna lengthen smoothly up and I feel the feet pressing up and I feel the sitting bones and the sacrum pulling down. That activates the back of my legs. I'm gonna move into a large bicycle. I'm imagining I am in the parade. I'm probably in the parade in Portland, Oregon, the Naked Bike Parade. Oh, okay, I'm wearing a bikini. But I'm in the Naked Bike Parade, and I'm on a giant, giant bicycle, and I'm pushing through, pushing through. And since it's Portland, it's probably raining. Oh, yeah, okay, light rain. <laughs> and push through, and push through, and push through. Good, you're on the beautiful bicycle with all of your friends in this beautiful parade. People are wearing very little clothing. <laughs> Why would you care? I don't know, it just captures my imagination, that's all. I've never been in it. I've heard about it though, I've talked to people who have done it. Okay, now scoop and scoop and scoop and just kind of feel, oh yeah, that's a whole different feeling. I'm getting a little bit of a stretch through my psoax. Stretch through the psoas, good. And if you're like me and you're lucky enough to be on the edge of a large object, or later if you want to try this on the ottoman, you get to really scoop down, really scoop down. I'm getting this fabulous stretch through my psoas. And Anna, this is an exercise for you. If you have sciatica, if you spend a lot of time on your bicycle, this is the way to open that up using your own body weight. Oh yeah, so the ball is helpful, but being on a tall object and scooping down into space, oh my, very nice. Okay, so we're going to lengthen the legs long, stretch the arms over the head if you like. Take a minute to feel the stretching of the front of the body, because we're gonna continue with a little bit more abdominals. 
Yes, we want strong core muscle. We want to be strong from the center, strong from our heart, leading with a strong heart. Ah. Ah. Okay, people, that was really nice. I enjoyed that. We're going to gently come on off of the ball. Good. And then just for fun, we're going to play a little bit. For me, I'm going to start with my head down, but I'm lengthening my spine in both directions. I'm going to move into the single leg stretch, which is what we just did, I know, but it's a different variation. And we're going to play with it for a minute. So the legs come up smoothly. The belly pulls in as the legs come up. Good. And you're going to get your legs moving one in and one out like you were just doing. But it's a little different. We're not on the ball. We have to do more thoughtful work here. We have to pull our spines down. Good. Now you've got your ball. You're going to feed it through. Feed it through. Feed it through. Good. Now if you're like me and you need a little bit more, you will lift up. But you have to lift up above your shoulder blades. And you have to make sure this is not hurting your neck. And if that's so, then we'll do 20, 19, 18, 17. You're in the circus now. That's it. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Stay lifted with me. Good. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stretch it out. Holding the ball over the head. Scooching down a little bit on your mat. Squeezing everything together. I'm going to point my toes. I'm going to squeeze my ball. And I'm going to bring the ball up. And I'm going to do a full roll up. All the way up. Ah, I'm squeezing my ball. And I'm rolling all the way up and I come forward and I stretch forward and I pull my abs in. I'm trying to get as skinny as I can, like I'm a pharaoh hound. Ah, good job. Then we're going to release the ball for a minute, find our band if we have it. We're going to place the band around the feet. Good. I'm going to gently roll down, and as I come down, I'm going to find that little place. It's somewhere where I'm around on my sacrum or my lumbar spine where I can pull the feet in, and I'm still connected. I'm still connected as I roll down. So I end up here in a tabletop position, and I release my arms. And there's a, a definite tautness here through my, my hold on my uh, legs. And if you don't have a band, it's fine. I'm going to do a little side to side. Haha, <laughs> feels good. If you don't have a band today, that's fine. It makes it more challenging. The band on this one makes it easier. OK, so I want you to take an inhale to prepare and exhale to push your feet. Good, now lift your head. We're going to come up and find our teaser position. You're going to slowly come all the way up as smoothly and as gracefully as you can. Good. Your arms and your legs are long. Arms are pretty much parallel to the ground. I'm actually balanced somewhere between my sacrum and my uh, lumbar spine. Good. And then from here, I'm going to release my band. And I'm going to slowly roll down. Eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now I'm squeezing my legs together. I'm going to lower my legs and I'm going to lift my legs. I point my toes and I lower and then I flex my feet and I lift. Just once more. Point and lower, flex and lift. Good, bend the knees into your body. As much as you can, squeeze yourself into a little egg and then side to side wobbling. Oh. Okay, that was fun. I really like that sequence. I'm gonna do it again. So, I wanna find my band. Where did my band go? And I'm gonna load that up on my feet. I'm gonna find that little organic space where I roll back with control and I end up in tabletop. Ah, I relax my arms. I take a breath in here for pre preparation. And then on the exhale, I'm gonna push my feet. 
I float my head up, my belly scoops, and I roll up with as much control as I can muster. Ah, good. When I get up there, I check my form. My legs are extended, my arms are extended, my legs are squeezed together. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. And here comes a whoosh. I'm going to drop my therabin. Ah, ah. Okay, now eight counts to roll down. Eight, seven, complete control. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower the legs. Flex the feet and lift the legs. Good. Point the toes, lower the legs to any degree. Flex and lift. You can overdo this on your back. Don't overdo. Maybe you just want to lower three inches and lift three inches. You're listening to yourself. Good. Bend the knees in and give yourself a hug. Ah. Woo. Okay, well, for me, that was so much fun. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm hoping that you're with me, or maybe some of you are with me. And if you're like, Jen, uh, this is not my joy, go get some gingerbread cookies. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna find my band, which has slid to the floor now. And I'm gonna see if we can tuck it through one more time. Band is on the bottom of my foot. And I'm gonna roll back with control. Good, from here, inhale. Exhale, push my feet out. And as I push my feet out, I lift my head and I see if I can come into that perfect shape called the teaser. Classic Pilates. Yay. Okay, then let go. Eight counts to roll down. Eight, seven. Think of yourself as a railroad track. Your spine is a railroad track. Good. Three, two, one, good, now lower the legs however much, lift the legs however much, point and lower, flex and lift, point and lower, flex and lift. Good work, last time bend your knees, hug your legs, but this time hold on to your knees for me and give yourself a hip opener. You're taking the time to circle your knees. We're gonna do some side, circles in a moment. So circling the top of the femur inside of the acetabulum. You're thinking about that as you do it. And then you reverse that. Movement in the pelvis. Bones rolling around. Good. This is such an easy little exercise to do and very helpful. Kind of like your broccoli sprouts. Okay. On this next one, we don't really need any toys, so I'm going to drop those over the edge. I'm rolling onto my side, and I'm just going to find a comfortable position for me. My neck is happy. My bottom knee is bent. My top leg is going to lift up. So I want to just take a minute, form, as you know, is everything. Am I comfortable? Am I in alignment? And the most important thing is your pelvis stacked good. Then this top leg, I'm going to circle around, and I'm going to kind of explore it. I'm thinking about making a circle on the wall, as if I'm up against the wall, and I've got a sponge attached to my foot, and I'm making a circle. All you artists out there, you can really visualize this. You're making a target for target practice. Yes. Target practice. Who shall we target? Ah, okay, good. So now let's go the other way. Circling that leg around. You've got the sponge attached and you're making a pretty darn perfect circle. Perfect circle. Perfect circle. You got it. Perfect circle. Perfect circle. Nice. Now, this next one you're going to try. You're going to go the other way. You try to make it as big as you can. How big can you make the circle while keeping your abs engaged? How big can you keep make the circle with your pelvis stacked? Can you make it big? Good, and then go the other way, as big as you can. So the first set that we did were your own choice. Second set is as big as you can. So for me, it's a little bit bigger than the first. 
And then the last set, the third set of circles, here we go. Your leg is hip height or more. You're gonna do small circles. Think about making a circle the size of a tennis ball. Amy, you know those tennis balls really well. Other tennis players, we can all visualize a tennis ball. Good, circle, circle, circle. It's like a tennis ball size circle and circle and circle. The circle comes from your belly button. Or if you can even think of it, it comes from behind that. It comes from your organs. Can you think of it coming from your small intestine, your ovaries, your liver, your spleen? Can you think of it from coming inside? They are reverse it. Very small, very contained. Jen, that is not a tennis ball. Okay, I'm trying. It's more like a football. <laughs> and around, and around, and around, and around. Very controlled around, and around. And around, good job. Okay, so we need to have a little release from that. So I'm gonna actually grab my TheraBand again because for my body, I need to have a moment I'm on my back of hip stretch, leg that was on the top, lengthens and stretches over. Oh yeah. Maybe pulls in. Since I've got my TheraBand, maybe pull in with the TheraBand is helpful. Oh yeah, it is. So find your own way of doing these stretches. And maybe each day also they're different. Okay. Good, then I want you to lengthen that leg that you used up to the sky. And we're gonna take just a little tiny bit of hamstring opening today. <clears throat> my hamstrings uh, are feeling this a little bit and so I'm able to lengthen my opposite leg, but I'm gonna do a little pull and a little release. A little pull and a little release. For me and my experience with bodies in the last 20 years of teaching, I really find that flexibility occurs through movement. So static holds, although they feel good, um, they don't really increase my flexibility and what I've seen with students. There's a better chance of you getting more flexible if you add tiny bits of movement to it. So feel free to add a little bit, just a little bit of movement. Good, and then I am gonna hold for a minute just to find contrast. I push up with my leg, and I'm pulling down with my opposite leg. One leg's up, the other leg's pulling down, and they're both pretty much equally active. I'm just gonna find a place to relax my arms for a second. Good, and I focus in on my breath. Seeing if I can inhale deeply through the nose, and exhale also through the nose. Good, now take it to your maximum possible stretch today. And then just hold there for another breath. Good, did you create any tension anywhere in your body when you did that? If so, wiggle it out as we come on up and then around to the other side. And as we come around to the other side, you also could notice the different sensation in your hips. So for me, it's quite dramatic. I definitely need these hip, side lying hip circles today. Hopefully you do too. That's why we're here together. Okay, so again, you're taking a moment for alignment. Your pelvis is stacked. You just start off with easy breezy, your own size circles. Good. Ah. Good, and remember you're coming from a deep spot uh, behind, slightly above and behind your belly button, your navel. And then the other way, this is easy. It's your own size circle, whatever you want. Okay, good. Now you're going to see if you can make as big a circle as you can. How
how big can you go while keeping your hips stacked, right? You could probably go really big if you let your hips move. You don't want to let your hips move. Making it as big as you can. And here's an idea. Strap on a sponge onto your bottom of your foot. Dip it in some green paint and make some green circles with me. They're perfect circles. <laughs> perfect circles. And then reverse that. Perfect circles. Good. Now, I noticed that this side circle is smaller than the other side. So these are my biggest circles that I can make, but it's less intense than the other side. I'll have to measure that, but that's how it feels. Anyone else have that feeling? Okay. So then reverse it. And this is our tennis ball size. We want to stay at about hip height tennis ball. Visualize whatever ball you want. Is it green, yellow, orange, tennis ball? And make it small and specific. It comes maybe from the heel, maybe from the instep, but not from your toe. Oh yeah, good. And then for, for me now, it is fire. Fire is burning. I could definitely roast chestnuts right here on the top of my thigh, where my thigh meets my pelvis. Or actually, I think it's bone right there, yeah. So that's the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus area. Good. Can we reverse it? And scoop. And scoop. It's a little circle. Little circle. Oh yeah, I'm burning. Burning my hips off. Burning. Burning my hips. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And we did it. Okay. Well, that was worth the effort today. That was worth your money. <laughs> And then grab your TheraBand, roll onto your back. We're gonna stretch up, 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 up with our leg, and then bring it across. Maybe pull the legs in, and since you've got your TheraBand, be creative. Maybe you can find a place that really gets you in a great stretch. And Shelly, just do what you can. Do what feels like you're on the edge of feeling something. Not pain, but something. Good, and then enjoy that. Focus in on your own breath. Or if you have a cute dog or cat nearby, focus in on your animal's breath. <laughs> uh, I only say they're cute because all animals are cute. Of course, you might have a very uncute animal, <laughs> and that's good too. Uh, all of those dogs and cats and squirrels and rabbits. They're all cute, according to my eye. <laughs> uh, how about people? Are people all cute? No. <laughs> uh, let's not be judgmental. So let's release the TheraBand, and then the leg that you just had up, the top leg, you have to think about that for a minute. That's the one that goes in the band, and you stretch it. Good. Maybe you're like me today, you're feeling like the opposite leg can lengthen down and you feel the down and up. And then I, of course, like to add that movement, tiny little pulses. Pulse, pulse, good job. Pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Keep going, pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Good, and if you get to a place where you feel like, okay, this feels lovely, I'm gonna stay here for a second, you really get to that edge, wherever it is. Bottom leg is pushing down, top leg is lengthened up. Make sure that your arms are comfortable. Make sure your shoulders are comfortable. Your leg is not so comfortable, that's okay. But the upper body is comfortable. Ah, oh, good work. Okay, good, so make sure you check your email and that you have the login information for our class for uh, January. So we'll start the next series on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th of December, it's a Thursday. And if you don't have it, if you don't have the login information, remember to call me, text me, email me, contact the temple. Melissa at the temple has all the information. I'm, I'm putting a lot of stuff on YouTube. So if you know the class situation just doesn't work for you at 10 a.m. anymore, you decided to sleep in, 
then you catch it on YouTube anytime you want. It's wonderful. And we can still be together that way. I never thought we could be together with computers like this, but we are. That's what we are. Okay, final little pull, final little last little hamstring stretch. You know you need this, Amy. Ah, yay. Okay, I'm going to release the band and I'm going to float my leg all the way down. Nice work, and I'm going to take just a moment here because we did so much beautiful hip strengthening and opening to allow my feet to fall out and in and out and in. And this always, always reminds me of just being a little kid. Whenever I do this movement, I feel like I'm eight years old. So, hey, this is a youthful movement. Ah, yay. Okay, good job. Now we're going to come on up and we're going to practice our control fronts and our control back. It's a little bit of a challenge. Let's go. The arms are long, my feet are flexed, and I feel like I'm Dracula coming out of the coffin. So the bats are flying by, and it's dusk. I'm taking an inhale, and on the exhale, I'm lifting my head, and I'm Dracula coming all the way up. I'm sitting up and I stretch my arms behind me and I clasp my hands and I reach forward and at the same time I pull my navel inward. Good. And then from here, I bend my knees and I place my hands down. Hands can be however they're comfortable for you. I'm going to do my first one with my palms down and my fingers facing toward my glutes. I've got an imaginary ball between my inner thighs and I'm going to slide all the way up. I look at the ceiling and I open the front of my body and then I lower back down. Good. Now on the next one, I'm going to let my hands move a little bit outward so I have a little bit more uh, space. I'm going to try the hand position like that. Oh yeah, that feels a little bit nicer in a way. And I roll my spine up, I look at the ceiling, and then I roll my body back down. Good, and then on the last one, I'm gonna try using my fists underneath me, and I'm gonna roll up, and that gives me a little bit more strength. I do notice that my hands, my wrists, are right underneath my shoulders, that's where I want them. It's easy to let your pelvis sag here, Try not to let the pelvis sag. Eye gaze can be at the ceiling or just above your knees. And then it's one knee up. Set that down with control. Other knee up. Set that down with control. Knee up. Set it down. Knee up. Set it down. Good. Keep that pelvis lifted. We're going to do tiny little glute squeezes here. So my neck is feeling like, oh, this is some work for my neck. So to make it easier, I actually bring my head a little bit forward. And now I release my glutes and I squeeze. And I'm just going to do that for five, four, three, two, last one. And then slowly with control down, good, into a seated posture. Flex your feet. Shake out your hands, good. And then opening up your wrist. Take a minute here. Ah, nice. Okay, then we're going to turn around. We're gonna come onto the forearms here and we're gonna be in a forearm plank. So my hands are flat. I come kind of onto my knees to find that position. And uh, it's more forgiving here, but it's kind of your elbow underneath shoulder. I'm going to lengthen one leg and lengthen the other leg. And on this version today, it's just a pyramid shape and then a plank, kind of a little bit of what we did for our transition on Tuesday. Lift, I'm looking uh, between my elbows, and then I'm looking between my hands. It's a small movement. See if we can do just 10 with calm strength. So lift and lower. And nine and lower. And eight and 
and lower. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Excellent. Melt down to the mat. Last little part. We want to get a little back extension to finish our class. My feet are hip width apart. My hands are down. My elbows are on the ground. I'm going to slide a little bit on the mat like a snake and then I lift up, 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 up. Now I fire my belly muscles to protect my low back, but I'm gonna see if I can lengthen a little bit further up while keeping my belly button zipped up. Inhale here, and then exhale coming down. Good. Now on this next one, my arms reach. This is our last exercise for the day. The arms and the legs are reaching. And they reach so much that I lift everything up. My belly's pulling away from the mat as I lift up as high as I'm able. I take a big breath in there. And then I come all the way down. Turning head to one side. Ah. Feel free to bend your knees. Rock your legs a little bit side to side. Yay! Well, I don't know about you, but that was totally fun for me. <laughs> I'm glad that you came. Ah, good. And I feel stronger and happier, and I really hope that you do too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everyone was muted. I don't know if Gail did.